Peppa Pig Tales. It's time to get ready for playgroup, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello, Santa. Back already? Today is Peppa's first day back at playgroup after the Christmas holidays. No, Mummy, it's me. But Peppa <laughs> is not ready for Christmas to be over. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's a wonderful outfit, but I don't think it's right for playgroup. But I like dressing up as Santa. I don't want Christmas to be over. It's so much fun. I know, but playgroup can be lots of fun too. You'd better go and pack your backpack. Good morning, Peppa. That's a very full backpack you've got there. And quite heavy too. Phew, what have you got in there? Just some tinsel to make the playgroup sparkly. I see. A toy I got from Santa. Oh, my. Some candy cane. Delicious. Oh, and some Brussels sprouts. Hmm, maybe you should take some things that are a bit more useful for playgroup. Like what? Maybe some crayons for colouring in, some yummy fruit, and a book to read. Oh, Santa brought me that book. That's a good idea. <laughs> Time to go, Peppa. <laughs> oh, can we ride the sled to playgroup? I love going fast. Whee! <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. There isn't any snow. Even the snowman is almost gone. I think we'll have to take the car today, Peppa. Oh, OK. I know you're sad Christmas is over, but I promise Playgroup can be just as fun. Everyone at Playgroup is very happy to see Peppa this morning. Welcome back, Peppa. Did you have a fun Christmas break? I... <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Do you want to play dress-up with me? Oh, yes. I love dressing up. <laughs> or we could read a book. I got a new book from Santa. <gasps> Let's race each other on our scooters. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Playgroup is just as fun as Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa really loves Christmas, but she also loves going back to Playgroup. Everyone loves going back to Playgroup. Peppa Pig Tales. Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes, baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done.
done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Pepper. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Pepper. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? The Ferris Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Ah! Oh, dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. Wow! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. <laughs> <laughs> you scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails. <laughs> <laughs> Go! 
Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. <coughs> Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Uh, oh dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> Um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Goal! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. You scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <coughs> Hooray! <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails. <coughs> <laughs> Handball! That's against the rules. Oops. Why are you blowing a whistle, Miss Rabbit? And what do those cards mean? I'm the referee. I blow the whistle to get attention. If someone makes a mistake, I give them a yellow card. And if someone's being a bit silly, I give them a red card. Ooh, can I be the referee? Of course. Now, Pepper is the referee. What's wrong, Pepper? You kicked the ball too fast. Mandy missed it. But that's not against the rules. I'm the referee now, Daddy, so I say it is. Oh, dear. Peppa likes being the referee, and she really likes blowing the whistle. <gasps> Your shoelace is undone. Oh. You're not smiling. Ah. Oh! You nearly kicked that lovely flower. Peppa is finding all sorts of reasons to blow the whistle. <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh. You're running too fast. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're swinging too high. Oh! Woof, woof. 
your ice cream is too melty. Watch out! Oof! Can we have a go now? I want a kick. Uh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Miss Rabbit are not following the rules. <gasps> Referee! This stuff is too sweet. Referee Peppa! Peppa is having so much fun, she's Ooh. forgotten all about the football match. Oops. Uh -huh. uh. <gasps> oh. Daddy, that's not how you play football. You're being a bit silly. I'm going to have to give you a red card. <laughs> Sorry, Peppa. I suppose we got a bit carried away. That's OK, Daddy. But I think it's your turn to referee now. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tales! Today at Playgroup, Madam Gazelle has a special surprise. Again. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a tree. Squeak! I'm going to be a wizard tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, children. Pumpkins aren't only used to celebrate Halloween. They're also used to celebrate a special holiday in America called Thanksgiving. Can I still be a wizard tree for Thanksgiving? I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Something else people do on Thanksgiving is make a cornucopia. Cornucopia what? That sounds silly. Cornucopia? It's a horn-shaped basket that holds fruits and vegetables that grow in the autumn. We're going to make oh. one of our own. <laughs> hey, thank you! Fresh fruits oh. and vegetables are certainly things I'm grateful for. One story even says cornucopias can magically refill themselves. Ooh, can this refill itself? Sadly not. The playgroup is making their own Thanksgiving cornucopia by collecting things that they're thankful for. I'm thankful for acorns and pumpkins. I'm going to add this chocolate bar from my lunchbox. I love chocolate bars. Oh, maybe just one bite. Pepper is the best part anyway. <laughs> <gasps> that was close. You've all made a beautiful cornucopia. It's home time, and Pepper is showing Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig what she learned today. This is a cornucopia. Copia. It's part of Thanksgiving and helps remind us to be thankful for all the yummy food we get to eat. Lovely indeed. Oh, but your cornucopia is reminding my tummy how hungry it is. Peppa Pig Tails! <gasps> that car went really fast! Don't worry, this is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The, the green, green man! man. 
Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Pepper. Ooh! Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe, and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tales! <gasps> went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The, the green, green man. man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, the 
red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Pepper loves keeping everyone safe and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tales. <laughs> Whoa! Snow day! Let's go! Peppa Whoa. is very excited to play in the snow today. Yay! Let's go! But Candy doesn't look very happy. <laughs> it's so cold! <laughs> snow is always cold. That's part of the fun. I didn't think it'd be this cold. Can we play inside in the warm? Oh, but I want to play in the snow. Peppa and Candy mm. don't know what to do. I know. Why don't we do one snow game and one inside game? And we see which is best. OK. That sounds like a good idea. Pepper and Candy are making a snowman. It's very tall. That was fun. Hmm. Just need a nice woolly hat. <gasps> Whoa! Uh... <laughs> Meow! I think we should go inside and get warm now. Mm. Pepper and Candy have made a <laughs> pillow fort. It is very cosy and warm. There! All finished. It's perfect. This was a fun idea. Phew! It's very warm in here. Why don't we try something in the snow to cool down? Peppa and Candy spend the day playing lots of different games. <laughs> they go sledding outside. Whee! <gasps> oh. <gasps> they drink delicious hot chocolate. and make lovely snow angels. <laughs> they even race around indoors. <laughs> and outdoors. But they can't agree what is best. We've tried everything. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Candy. Why the sad faces? We can't find something to do that is fun in the warm and in the cold. That is difficult. Oh, how about some delicious fruity snow cones? <gasps> They're made of nice cold snow wow. and perfect to be enjoyed in the warm inside. <laughs> Mmm, thank you, Miss Rabbit. Wow, thank you. Peppa and Candy both agree that this is best. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tales. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <sighs> hmm. Something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat. eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy. What a beautiful pillow fort. Can we have something to eat, please? 
Of course. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Catch, Peppa. <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. <laughs> this floor is green. So let's pretend it's squelchy! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue. So let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! Let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <gasps> oh, I can fit through anything. Uh. Oh. <sighs> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For you. Oh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails! Whoops! <gasps> Peppa and her friends are going to watch the football match today. Oh dear! The cake is squashed. Oh no! My trophy cake! I'm very sorry, Mummy Pig. It's okay. We'll just have to make a new one. But there's only ten minutes until the match starts. Well, we'd better get a wriggle on then. To the supermarket! All right. Who wants to play football? Yes! Yay! We've not got much time, so we're going to have to split up. Peppa, you and I will find the sponge cakes. Hooray! Granny Pig, you and Mandy Mouse find the icing. Whee! And Daddy Pig, you and George are in charge of sprinkles. Sprinkles! Let's go! Let's go! Aim for the top corner. There, in the top corner. <laughs> Put it in the back of the net. <laughs> Done. Pop it in the basket. Hooray! I can save three shots at once. Ha! Ah. We'll need three sponge cakes, Pepper. Whoa! Phew! Well done, team. We've got all the ingredients. Now let's get back home and make this cake. Everyone is very busy making the new cake. Yeah! <laughs> How many goals is that? One hundred or one hundred and one? 
We made a new cake. Hooray! And just in time, the game's about to start. Hooray! Peppa Pig Tales. Pepper and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> Peppa, how did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Pepper practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Peppa Pig Tales. Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby 
Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> Baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. is sports day at Peppa's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Yay! Hooray! Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Slower, Peppa! Don't drop the egg! Okay! <laughs> Slow down, Danny! But don't go too slow! Slower! Faster! Slower! No faster! Phew. Squeak! <laughs> draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. If I miss, we'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> yeah. We had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the Blue Team did really well too. So they get 
Silver medals. Wow! The pink team and the blue team love sports day. Everyone loves sports day. Peppa Pig Tails. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur! Today, Peppa and George are helping to make <laughs> Christmas lunch. They are giving the vegetables a bath. Quack! Quack! <laughs> yes! They need bath toys. There you go, vegetables. <laughs> That's not quite what I meant when I said wash the vegetables. I finished cooking the potatoes. Why don't you and George mash them? Yes, yes! Potatoes! <laughs> Not with your hands, with these. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Now, what's next, Mummy Pig? Done! That was quick. Ho, ho, ho! You've made an igloo out of potato. What fun! You can help me ice the cake now. Yes, please. With a few bits of green icing and some splodges of white icing, it looks like mistletoe. Mistletoe! Hooray! Our turn, our turn. Here you go, Peppa. You do the leaves and George, you do the... Ooh. <laughs> like this? Well, not quite, but this is much more fun than mistletoe. It looks like a snowman. Snowman! <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig are arriving for Christmas lunch. Happy Christmas, ev- Oh, oh my. Peppa and George's Christmas lunch looks messier than Grandma Pig expected. Peppa and George have been helping us make the Christmas lunch. It's not how we'd normally do it. No, but it's much more fun. Peppa and her family enjoy a lovely Christmas lunch together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's filled with lots of laughter. And some fun new traditions, too. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone. Happy Christmas! and her playgroup are playing lots of games today. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like jelly. Correct. Hmm. Aha! Feels like a banana. Correct again. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Mm. Tastes like banana too. <laughs> 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 Your go, Pedro. But I don't want to touch something smushy. It'll be okay. Our smushy things were delicious. Oh, it's cold and made of metal. Is it a key? It is. Well done, Pedro. Hooray! It's a key to a special mystery box. You need to find two more to unlock the prize. Ooh! How do we find more, Madam Gazelle? In our next game, of course. These are piñatas. You have to find the exciting surprises inside. How do we do that? You break them open with these soft foam bats. <laughs> It 
it's full of snow. <laughs> Mine too. <gasps> ah! Oh. Oh. Hooray! <laughs> I did it. The second key. Only one more to go. I love pass a parcel. Me too. Me three. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I won. This is a very long song. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, the music stopped. <laughs> Hooray! Now Peppa and her friends have found all three keys, it's time to find out their prize. <laughs> wow! Christmas biscuits! <gasps> Yum! You did it, Peppa! You all did it together, Pedro. Pig Tails! Snap! Oh! Peppa is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap! I keep winning! I don't like Snap. Peppa would quite like to win a game. Snap! I know! Let's play Snakes and Ladders instead! Woohoo! Snakes and ladders. But I was winning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to win. Two places. Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. Yeah. <gasps> oh dear, Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake I know, let's play Marble Run I love Marble Run Marble Run! But I was going to win <laughs> <laughs> Yay! 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 My pink marble is winning! I know! Let's play Pack the Parrot! Ooh! I love Pack the Parrot! But my marble is winning! It's going to pop up! I can't! Look! I know! Let's play Snap again! <laughs> Snap! Snakes and ladders! Peppa and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tales It is Christmas Eve and Daddy Pig is putting the Christmas tree on the car so it can be decorated at home. Peppa is helping. Phew! 
Peppa? <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah, we've got all the new decorations. Daddy! Perfect. Now let's head home. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is very excited to decorate the tree. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a wonderful sleigh. Hey! <gasps> Why have we stopped, Daddy? I'm not sure we're going to fit in the tunnel with this tree. Let's try going slowly. Bits of the tree are falling off. Hmm. We'll have to go the long way round. <laughs> wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Why is the car so bumpy? Whee! <laughs> The trees on the road are brushing against the tree on our car. Oh, no! Maybe this road with no trees will be better. This road has no trees, so the wind is blowing the Christmas tree. Uh. Oh, dear. All the pines must have fallen off on the way. But we need a tree for Christmas. Daddy! <gasps> George has given Peppa an idea. We can still decorate the tree and make it really fun and Christmassy. That's a wonderful idea, Peppa. Peppa and her family get to work decorating their new special kind of Christmas tree. Looks lovely. This bird thinks the Christmas tree looks lovely too. Birdie! <laughs> Wonderful, Pepper. Now the birds can have Christmas too. The birds love their new Christmas tree. Everybody loves the new Christmas tree. Ho, ho, ho. Peppa Pig Tails! <laughs> Peppa is having lots of fun playing in the snow with her friends. <laughs> That's cold! But every game they play seems to cover them in cold snow. <laughs> Whee! Hello, Daddy! Peppa! You're covered in snow. I think it's time to come inside and warm up, or you'll turn into a snow monster. <laughs> snow monsters don't exist, Daddy. Can we play for five <gasps> more minutes? Please? Oh, all right then. Five more minutes. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Peppa and her friends play lots of games in the snow. They aren't worried about turning into snow monsters at all. Let's play snowballs. Yay! <laughs> You'll never get me, Peppa! <laughs> <laughs> what was that noise? It sounded like... Has anybody seen my glasses? A, A snow, snow monster! monster. <laughs> Quick, let's hide. Oh, dear. Let's hide here. Phew! The snow monster won't find us here. <gasps> The 
snow monster has found them. Papa, it's me! <laughs> oh, that's not a snow monster. <laughs> it's Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> I told you there was no such thing as snow monsters. Come on, Daddy. We'll make you warm again and melt all this snow. And look for my glasses on the way. Oh. Your glasses! Hooray! Thank you, Susie. Daddy Pig is very glad to be back home oh. in the warm. He's not a snow monster anymore. <laughs> Everyone is warming up inside with hot chocolate. Even snow monsters like hot chocolate. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails. <sighs> Peppa's family are having a New Year's Eve party and all the guests are arriving. Hello, Peppa. Are you excited to stay up until midnight? I'm going to have a nap, so I'm really awake for the fireworks. Uh -huh. Looks like George needs a nap too. <sighs> Would you like a nap, Peppa? No, Mummy. We're big, so we're going to stay up until midnight. Let's go and play in my room. <laughs> What's that sound? Wake up, Peppa. You fell asleep. No, I didn't. I'm big, so I don't need a nap. How are we going to stay awake? Uh, oh, let's make each other jump. Then we'll be really awake. Let's try it. <laughs> I know what will keep us awake. Hide and seek. I'll be it. <laughs> One, two, three. Here I come. Oh, found you. <laughs> Ouch. Huh? Found you. <gasps> I'm not sleeping. <laughs> Huh? Found you, <gasps> Peppa! Uh, what? I wasn't sleeping. Peppa and her friends mm. are trying to think of another way to stay awake. <laughs> Let's have something to eat. <coughs> These are yummy. Now I'm so full. I'm not tired anymore. Ma. Uh, Emily, wake up. Wake up! <gasps> it's almost midnight! <gasps> we almost missed it. Maybe you should have taken a nap mm. like us. It's time for the fireworks! Firework! Five! Peppa Four. loves staying up late Three. on New Year's Eve. Everyone loves staying up late on New Year's Eve. Peppa Pig Tails. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Emily Elephant is bouncing on a space hopper. Why are you bouncing in the sandpit, Emily? It's 
What's my New Year's resolution? What is that? It's a challenge you have to do for the whole year. Mine's bouncing. Boing, boing. I want a New Year resolution too. Peppa and her friends are going to make their own New Year's resolutions. I'm going to score a gazillion goals. <laughs> One, two. I'm going to talk in gobbledygook. Bingly, bangly, bibbly, bobbly, wibbly, wobbly. <laughs> I'm going to be a tiger. Roar! 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 Hmm. I think my New Year's resolution will be to jump in muddy puddles. I just have to find some first. <laughs> Uh, six, uh, one, nine, uh, four. Danny Dog is muddling his numbers and getting very tired. Boing, 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 roar! <gasps> Candy Cat's roars have given Emily Elephant a fright. Emily Elephant has lost her space hopper. Where are you, Muddy Puddles? Peppa can't find any Muddy Puddles. Can you see any muddy puddles, Susie? No, I can't. Um, I mean, muddily, muddily, puddily, puddily. Rawr! Everyone is Rawr! finding their Rawr! New Year's resolutions Bear. quite hard. <laughs> what are you all doing? Uh, we're doing our New Year's reservations. <laughs> Eleven to twelve. Mine is jumping in muddy puddles, but I can't find any. Ho, ho, ho! New Year's resolutions aren't about doing these sorts of challenges. Aren't they? No, they're about choosing nice things to do in the next year. Things like helping with the washing up. Or tidying your room. <laughs> oh! That sounds much easier than scoring a gazillion goals. Speak for yourself. One hundred and one. What a nice day for doing. Nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Daddy, aren't you going to work today? No, Pepper. It's Saturday. Daddy Pig doesn't work on Saturdays. Daddy Pig, you'll be late for work. But it's Saturday, Mummy Pig, isn't it? No, it's Thursday. Oh. Daddy Pig works on Thursdays. See you later. Bye-bye. Poor Daddy having to work. Lucky Mummy, you can play at home all day. I'm not playing. I'm working on my computer. <laughs> George wants to play the Happy Mrs Chicken game. George, we can play the Happy Mrs Chicken game after I've finished my work. Oh. Mummy Sheep and Susie have come to pick up Peppa for playgroup. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> Have a good day at playgroup. Bye-bye, Mummy. Work hard. Mrs Sheep, do you work or do you play? I am going to be working very hard today. <laughs> I'm off to the gym. What do you do at the gym? Running, jumping and skipping. Mummy, that's not work. That's play. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Susie have arrived at the playgroup. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. <laughs> oh, children. Today, we will play shops. Ooh. Who wants to be shopkeeper? Me. 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 Peppa and Susie can be shopkeepers. Everyone else can be customers. 
Peppa and Susie are going to run a pretend shop. What do we have to do? I will take the money, Susie, and you can stack the shelves. OK. Danny Dog is the first customer. Hello, shopkeeper. Hello, Mr Dog. Can I have some biscuits, please? Susie, have we got any biscuits? No, but we've got a toy telephone. How much will that be? That will be a hundred pounds, please. <laughs> Thank you. Next, please. Nay. Hello, shopkeeper. Can I have a loaf of bread, please? No. But you can have a toy house. Would you like it in a bag, sir? Yes, please. That will be one a penny, please. Oh, I haven't got enough money. You can pay us next time you come in. Gosh, this is hard work. Yes. Squeak. Hello, shopkeeper. What can I buy for a million thousand pounds, please? Susie, what have we got for a million thousand pounds? Hmm, a carrot? Yes, please. Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. <laughs> <laughs> it is home time. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to collect Pepper and Susie. Daddy, have you had a busy day? Yes. I've been working very hard. We've been working very hard too. We've been shopkeepers. Blah, 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 blah. The end. And print. Mummy Pig has finished her work. <laughs> OK, George. Perhaps we could just play one game of Happy Mrs Chicken. We've earned it. <laughs> Oh, that's because George and I have finished our work, haven't we, George? <laughs> We've all finished our work, so let's all play! <laughs> Not yet! Not yet, Peppa! <sighs> let's play a game. We each have to spot a car of our favourite colour. Yes! My favourite colour is green. Mine is orange. Mine is red. George, what's your favourite colour? Boo! George's favourite colour is blue. Let's see which colour car comes along first. OK. Here is Candy Cat in her green car. <laughs> green! That's my favourite colour. I win. Hello, Candy. Meow. Hello, Peppa. Here is Danny Dog in Grandad Dog's breakdown truck. Orange, so I win. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Here's another car. It's Susie. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Boo! Yes, George, it's a blue car, so you win. <laughs> <laughs> this is a silly game. There isn't a red car anywhere. There is one red car, Peppa. Where? <laughs> what colour is our car? Uh, it's red. I win, I win. <laughs> <laughs> the family have arrived at the mountains. We'll have a fantastic view when we get to the top. We're here. Hooray! Hooray! Look at the lovely sunny view. Ah! Oh dear, it has started to rain. Where's the lovely view? Uh, there's a lovely view. It is Miss Rabbit's ice cream store. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Daddy Pig. Four ice creams, please. What flavours would you like? Mint, orange, strawberry and blueberry, please. OK. <laughs> Look what I've got. Ice cream! Oh, <laughs> they're our favourite colours. That's right. Green for me. Orange for me. Strawberry red for me. And George's is... Boo! <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yummy! Look, 
the sun has come out. And look what else has come out. A rainbow! Pepper and George love rainbows. A rainbow only comes out when it's rainy and sunny at the same time. Ooh! It's got all our favourite colours in it. Yes! Red and orange and green and blue. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what you find at the end of a rainbow? No. You find treasure. Oh, can we go find the treasure now? OK. The end of the rainbow looks like it's just on the next hill. Let's go! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> it's a rainy, sunny day. The rainbow's here to play. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> here we are. Oh, where's our rainbow gone? It's moved to the next hill. You cheeky rainbow. Quick, let's catch it. Rainbow, rainbow, it's a rainy, sunny day. <laughs> it stopped raining. And the rainbow is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Maybe the rainbow has left some treasure behind. There's something over here. Have you found the rainbow's treasure? Yes, I have. A big, magic puddle. Hooray! <laughs> this is the best rainbow treasure ever. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are having a music lesson. Ooh, Miss Polly had a doll. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Madam Gazelle. <coughs> oh, dear. Pedro has a cough. Not to worry. I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Doctor. This is Madame Gazelle. A child is ill. Don't panic. I'll come straight away. <laughs> what seems to be the problem? I've got a cough. <coughs> I see. Is it a tickly cough or a chesty cough? Um, I don't know, but it goes like this. Hmm. <coughs> and when did you get this cough? When Madame Gazelle started singing. It's nothing serious, but Pedro's cough may be catching. What do you mean, catching? When one person has a cough, Sometimes other people get that cough, too. Do I need medicine? Just a little spoonful. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. <laughs> it tastes like an old shoe full of jam. Thank you, Dr Brown Bear. Goodbye. Bye. <coughs> As I thought, Pedro's cough is catching. Danny Dog and Susie Sheep have caught Pedro's cough. <coughs> Open wide. Ew! It tastes of carpet-flavoured yoghurt. It tastes of flowers. Well done for taking your medicine so well. Do you ever get ill, Dr Brown Bear? No, Pepper. I'm never ill. I eat an apple a day. Goodbye. Bye. It is home time and the children's parents are here to pick them up. Mummy, Daddy, I've got a cough. <coughs> Dr Brown Bear came and looked after us. He gave us horrible medicine. Madam Gazelle, can you sing your song now? Of course, Pepper. Miss Polly had a dolly who was... <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. All the grown-ups have caught Pedro's cough. Dr Brown Bear speaking. This is Peppa Pig. <coughs> All the grown-ups are ill. Not to worry, Peppa. I'm on my way. <coughs> Hello, everyone. 
caught Pedro's cough, have we? <coughs> <coughs> Very well. Stand in line and open wide. Mm. Uh. Oh. Ew. Oh. It tastes like custard and old socks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for looking after us, Dr Brown Bear. Who looks after you when you're ill? No one looks after me. I'm never ill. <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Dr Brown Bear has caught Pedro's cough. Not to worry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Poor Dr. Brown Bear. He's ill and there's no one to look after him. Oh! <coughs> Who can that be? Hello! We've come to look after you. Here's some fruit. <laughs> and some cushions. And here is your medicine. Yeah! It tastes like... Jammy yogurt flavored custard socks. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a song to make you feel better. Ooh. Good night, George. Can I have a story, please? Okay, I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But we always have that one. The Red Monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth, and goes to sleep. Uh, yes, that is what happens. Can we choose another story? The blue tiger, the green spider, the orange penguin. Oh, what's this one? The wonderful world of concrete. I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's a library? It's a place you borrow books from. And when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Never mind. You can take it back tomorrow. <sniffs> but now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> the Wonderful World of Concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Pepper and her family have come to the library. <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Pepper, you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please. Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit? Can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Berries, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <laughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. <laughs> George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> He had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No, 
He jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Mm. He had a picnic with the dinosaur, he swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Pepper. But I was going to choose this book or this one. You can take three books home if you want, Pepper. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'll make sure Daddy remembers. Yes, Pepper. I'm sure you will. Ho <laughs> <laughs> ho! <laughs> they are going on holiday. Oh, where's Daddy? He's bringing a secret surprise. <laughs> What's that? It's a camper van. We've borrowed it for our holiday. <gasps> this camper van has everything. This button works the sink. Wow! And this button works the TV. <laughs> what does this button do? I'm not sure. Maybe don't press it until we know. Is everybody ready to go on holiday? Yes, yes Mummy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this map is a bit tricky. Daddy, we don't want to get lost. Don't worry, Pepper. I'm an expert at map reading. Oh, that's strange. Are we lost? Uh, yes. It's Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. We're lost. Lost? Is your sat-nav broken? Sat-nav? You're driving a camper van T3200. Sat-nav comes as standard. Welcome to the car of the future. Ah. So that's what that button does. Where are we going today? The camper van is talking. Clever, isn't it? The computer voice helps you find your way. But how does it know where we want to go? You tell it. Uh, hello, Mrs. Camper Van. Hello. We're going on holiday. Can you tell us the way? Proceed on the current road in a straight line. Thanks for your help, Grandad Dog. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. We're going on holiday in a camper van. <laughs> danger, danger. Oil is low. What's oil? Oil helps engines to run smoothly. Will the oil run out? No. These warnings always give you plenty of time. Oil is gone. Oh, dear. Luckily, I've got a spare can of oil. Well done, Daddy Pig. We simply pour the oil into the engine and... Oh. What's wrong? There's nothing in here. The engine's gone. It's Mummy Sheep with Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. We've lost our engine. Lost your engine? Yes. It's completely disappeared. I'd like to help, but I don't know a thing about engines. I'm probably just being silly, but this looks a bit like an engine. Ah, yes. Well spotted, Mummy Sheep. The camper van has its engine at the back. There. That should be enough oil. Thank you, Mummy Sheep. You're welcome. Have a lovely holiday. Are we nearly there yet? Just up the next hill. You have reached your destination. Hooray! Time for bed. Where will we sleep? Mummy Pig and I will sleep on this bed. Ooh. And you two will sleep upstairs. But there isn't an upstairs. Oh, ho, ho. watch this. The camper van's roof is lifting up. The 
camper van is just like our little house. <laughs> While we're on holiday, it is our little house. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Camper van. <laughs> Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. <laughs> I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature programme. One of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. <coughs> shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh. Good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. <coughs> There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! <coughs> Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Pepper and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello, where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're going, going to, to Duckland duck in the camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when, when we have picnic. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa Ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. <laughs> ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. <laughs> it is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead. Into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes, drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes, it's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look, it's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig. <coughs> uh, ahoy there. Beep, beep. Sailing on the river. <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Soup for lunch. <laughs> Daddy, can I help? Thank you, Pepper. Can you clear away all these vegetable peelings? OK. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, Nana. 
That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Pepper. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Oh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig, we've got a special present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <laughs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden? Eat vegetables? Oh, ho, ho. no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Pepper, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top, and then out of the bottom comes lovely rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, oh, no, Peppa. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> the worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. Grandpa, can we find some more? Wiggly worm for your compost tape. What a good idea. Come on, George. Let's find some more wiggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> a wiggly worm. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. You're a wiggly worm. You're a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. You're a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Be a good wiggly worm and turn it all into compost. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then I can use the compost to... I know, I know. You put a seed in the ground, cover it in compost and it grows into a tree. Oh, oh. Yes, Pepper. And talking of trees, we'd better go and help Granny Pig. She's collecting fruit in the orchard. What's the orchard? It's where you find fruit trees. We've had this orchard since I was a little piggy. <laughs> Hello, Granny Pig. Candy Pig. Are you going to help me collect some apples? Yes, Granny. No, oh, the apples are too high up. Don't worry, Pepper. Granny and Grandpa have a little trick to collect the apples. Everybody hold on to the tree. On the count of three, shake the tree as much as you can. One, One two, two, three! three. <laughs> it's raining apples! <laughs> <laughs> Granny, can we have an apple, please? Of course, Pepper. Mmm, delicious. And can you guess what we do with the apple cores? Uh. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. That's right. <laughs> the apple cores go into the compost for the worms. Clever, George. <laughs> <laughs> and clever, wiggly worms, too. <laughs> <laughs> Put a playing in their bedroom. This will be the best house ever. <laughs> George! Richard Rabbit is here. <laughs> Georgie! Richard! Dinosaur! Dinosaur! Bye-bye, <laughs> Richard. I'll be back to pick you <laughs> up later. George and Richard are best friends. <laughs> my house down. Please play something not bouncy. <laughs> George has made the toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! 
George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. I say potato. And I say potato. Potato! Potato! The good thing about rainy days potato. is we get to watch important potato. TV programs. Potato! 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 Mummy! George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land. And dinosaur land is very noisy. George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. Bye-bye, <laughs> Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! ...pick you up later. <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. It is a hospital. I'm the important doctor. Ooh, this dinosaur looks sick. I agree, Doctor. He's a very greeny ill colour. He must go to bed. And this dinosaur looks a very purpley ill colour. Yes, Doctor. He must go into bed too. Dinosaur! Shush! Quiet! In the hospital! Choo choo! <laughs> the bedroom is not a hospital anymore. Now it is a railway station. No, no. There aren't any trains in Fairyland. Oh, now the bedroom is Fairyland. Only pretty things are allowed in Fairyland. <laughs> What's all this crying about? George and Richard want to play dinosaurs and trains. And we want to play hospitals and fairies. Mm. I see the rain has stopped outside. So? So? Maybe you could all play outside. But they like little boys' games. And we like grown-up girls' games. But after it's been raining in the garden, what do you normally find? Muddy puddles! And what are muddy puddles for? Jumping up and down! Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy poof is leaking. How can we raise the money to fix the school roof? We could have a fun run. <laughs> What's a funny run? It's a day for picnics and giving money to see people run. And the more money you give, the further they run. Good idea, Daddy Pig. How far can you run? What? Uh, well, I can run as far as you like. But, Daddy, you can hardly run at all. Nonsense. I'm an expert at running. Good. Does anyone else want to run? No, no thank, thank you. you. But I'll give money to see Daddy Pig run. Me too. And me. Excellent. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Pepper and her family are eating spaghetti. <laughs> Delicious. Is there any more spaghetti? Daddy Pig, you've already had three helpings. Eating gives me energy. And I need energy for my fun run. You also need to practice running. What if I practice eating today, then practice running tomorrow? No, Daddy. You need to practice running now. Oh. Come on, Daddy. Race you! <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. It is easy to run downhill. It is hard to run uphill. I don't think I should have eaten so much spaghetti. It is the day of the fun run. Madame Gazelle has a chart to show how far Daddy Pig must run. 
If Daddy Pig can run to here... The supermarket. Then to here... My granddad's garage. And all the way to here... Windy Castle. Then we'll have enough money to fix the school roof. I'll do it now. Ready, steady, go! I did it! Now we can have the picnic. <laughs> Silly Daddy. That's just a drawing. Yes. Now you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go. Hooray! Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! <laughs> The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water! Water! What a lovely hot day! And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water! Water! Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No, this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off, get off. You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig has lost the wasp. Well done, Daddy Pig. All that extra running means we've got enough money for a new school bus, too. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> Daddy Pig is doing the washing this morning. <laughs> Daddy, what's that shirt? It's my football shirt. Daddy's playing football this afternoon. But first, I have to go to work. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Poor Daddy. <laughs> having to go to work. Oh, poor Daddy. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Yes, let's play. <laughs> Peppa loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy, we splashed Daddy's football shirt with mud. Oh. Don't worry. We'll just wash it. <laughs> It'll be washed in no time and Daddy won't know it was ever muddy. <laughs> Let's find some more things to put in the machine. <coughs> oh, my dress is a bit muddy. <laughs> Mummy Pig and George have found more things to wash. Very good, George. <laughs> we put the clothes in here and then we switch it on. The washing machine is filling up with hot, soapy water. <laughs> Splash! <laughs> the washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Pepper, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy, my red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Pepper, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. 
Pepper's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh! Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig? We've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Peppa. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. <laughs> no, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. <coughs> Here are Daddy Pig's friends. Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! <laughs> Go! Hooray! Hooray! Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. Pepper and George on a boat trip. Uh, Polly Parrot is going too. Uh, Grandpa Pig, <coughs> have you got your mobile phone? Yes, Granny Pig. Don't drop it in the water. No, Granny Pig. Is it switched on? Yes, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye bye. Here is Grandad Dog. Ahoy there! <coughs> Ahoy there! Lovely day to go sailing. I would go too, but my boat needs a clean. Ho, ho, ho. I don't know why you bother cleaning that rusty boat. I'm surprised it's still afloat. This rusty boat will still be afloat long after your old tin boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. <laughs> Granddad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Full steam ahead. Goodbye. I am the captain of this boat, and when the captain tells you to do something, you must do it. Aye, aye, captain! Aye, aye, captain! <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. George, raise the flag. George, raise the flag. <laughs> Peppa, ring the bell. Peppa, ring the bell. <laughs> Grandpa? Can I be the captain, please? OK. But as captain, you must wear this hat. <laughs> now Peppa is the captain, and everyone must do what she says. Ring the bell. Turn that wheel. Aye, aye, Captain Peppa. Jump up and down. <laughs> captain Pepper is a bit bossy. Perhaps I should be the captain again. We don't want to crash into anything. Steering the boat can be tricky. Luckily, I'm good at steering. <laughs> oh dear. Grandpa Pig's boat has crashed into a little island. Grandpa, we're stuck. I'll ring Granny Pig. She can get help. Whoa! Oh! Grandpa Pig has dropped his phone in the water. Granny Pig speaking. Hello? 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 Somehow, we need to get a message to Granny. Ah! Uh, message to Granny? <laughs> Polly can fly to Granny. Good idea, Pepper. And I can teach Polly what to say. 
Grandpa Pig says... Grandpa Pig says... Help! 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 There you see. Easy peasy. Grandpa Pig says easy peasy. You silly old bird. You silly old bird. Hello, Polly. What are you doing here? Uh, Grandpa Pig says... What does Grandpa Pig say? You silly old bird. Oh! Help! Help! Goodness me! Grandpa must need help. <laughs> Grandad Dog! Hello, Granny Pig. Grandpa Pig needs help. Please, could you rescue him? Madam, I would be delighted. Hooray! Ahoy there! Do you need rescuing, Captain? Um, maybe. Would you like my rusty old boat to rescue you? Yes, please, Grandad Dog. Catch this, Captain. Aye, aye, Skipper. Grandad Dog is Grandpa Pig's very best friend. Granny, did Polly tell you we needed help? Yes. Polly is a very clever parrot. Say, I'm a clever parrot. Woof, woof. I'm a clever parrot. Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig speaking. Monsieur Pig, come on, allez-vous? Oh, something's wrong with the phone. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait, la Grande-Bretagne? Il y a de la pluie, du soleil? You see? The phone's talking nonsense. Hello, comment allez-vous? Hello, Monsieur. Est-ce que Delphine peut rester pour un jour? Oui. Elle vient juste de prendre le train. Au revoir. That was Monsieur Donkey. He was speaking French. Ah, I thought as much. <laughs> Mummy, what did Monsieur Donkey say? He asked if little Delphine Donkey could visit us. Oh, goody. Delphine Donkey is Peppa's very special friend from France. Delphine's coming to practice talking English with us. Hooray! We'd better hurry. Delphine's train is arriving any minute. Last stop. All change. That's Delphine's train. Get up! Delphine! Bonjour. Bonjour means hello in French. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour, Mr Donkey. My goodness! Is that huge case for Delphine? Yes. Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water... <coughs> oh. Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> Oh. And this luggage is for one night stay? Oh, yes. That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy! Mummy! Can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Pepper. Pepper and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. <laughs> I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! Oh. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez le matin. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Ding, ding, ding. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. Madame Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine 
donc Bonjour Ah Bonjour Delphine Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. OK. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> <laughs>